To solve a two by two systems of equations by elimination. And also to find and use common multiples. Example. 2x plus 3y equals 13 and 5x minus y equals 7. Look at the 2 and the 5 in the position by the x's. What is the least common multiple between 2 and 5? 10 is right. What do I have to multiply 2 by to get a 10? So I'm multiplying the entire top equation by 5. On the bottom, what would I multiply 5 by to get a 10? Multiply the whole bottom equation by 2. On the top, multiply through by 5. So that will be 10x plus 15y equals 65. The bottom equation multiply through by 2. 10x minus 2y equals 14. Now look at your 10x's. What you want to do is get rid of them. And if I add both equations together, what will I get in the x position? 10x plus 10x. 20x, so they'll still be there. What if I do 10x minus 10x? Zero. That's what we want. We want them gone. So you must subtract the bottom equation from the top. To do that, you have 0x. 10x minus 10x is 0x, but you still have the rest of the equations to deal with. 15y, you're doing this now. 15y, but don't forget it's minus. 15y minus a negative 2y. 15y minus a negative 2y is 17y. <coughs> and 65 minus 14 is 51. Divide 51 by 17 and you come up with 3. You still have x to solve for. So we'll go back and plug in this 3 either here or here. It makes no difference. It's your choice. I'll choose the bottom one. 5x minus 3 instead of y equals 7. And then solve that. You should come out with an answer of 2. Or not 2, but uh, yeah, it should be 2, but I wrote 2 at the bottom. You're dividing by 5, and the answer is 2. Your final answer must be written as a point. X number first, comma, Y number second. Two, comma, three is the answer. <coughs> Example. Negative three X minus two Y equals negative seven. And four X plus seven Y equals eighteen. Forget about the negative sign on the 3x for right now. Just think of it as 3 and 4. What is the lowest number that 3 and 4 go into? 12. So to get a 12 up here in this position, I have to multiply the negative 3 by 4. And down on the bottom, to get a 12 in this position, I have to multiply 4 by 3. But what you do to one thing in the equation, you have to do to all of it. Now on the top, when you multiply through by 4, you get negative 12x minus 8y equals a negative 28. And on the bottom, when you multiply through by 3, you get 12x plus 21y equals 54. Now I have a negative 12x and a positive 12x. If I subtract, I'll end up with negative 24. But if I add them together, these will cancel out. Negative and positive will cancel each other out. 
but now I have to add negative 8y plus 21y. That is 13y. And negative 28 plus 54 is 26. Divide, and your answer is 2. But we have to solve for x. To solve for x, I'm going to plug in this 2 that we just found, either here or here. It makes no difference which. I'm going to use the bottom one. So we'll end up with 4x plus 7 times 2 equals 18. 4x plus 14, which you're going to have to move to the right side. And that's 4x equals 4. Whoops, no x in that one. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. Write the final answer as 1, 2. X number goes first. Y number goes second. 5x plus 6y equals 33, and 4x minus 3y equals 3. Solve the system of equations. To solve this, you must find the least common multiple between 5 and 4. That would be 20. So multiply the top equation by 4 and the bottom by 5. And when you do that, on the top you get 20x plus 24y equals 132. And on the bottom it's 20x minus 15y equals 15. 20x and 20x, if you add them you get 40, but if you subtract you get 0. That's what we want. Now 24y minus a negative 15 should be 39. And 132 minus 15 is 117. If you divide you should get an answer of 3 for y. Now plug that 3 back into either this or this. It makes no difference. I'll plug it back into the top one. And then we go back and simplify. You'll get an 18, which you have to move to the right side. Make it minus 18. Simplify to get 15. Divide to get 3 and your final answer should be 3 comma 3. Three. 7x minus y equals negative 9. 4x plus 3y equals 2. Solve the system of equations. The solution for uh, the practice problem, you have 7 and 4. The least common multiple is 28, so I'm multiplying the top equation by 4 and the bottom by 7. On the top, I get 28x minus 4y equals negative 36. On the bottom, it's 28x plus 21y equals 14. The 28s are positive, so I'm going to subtract to get rid of them. Negative 4 minus 21 is 25. And negative 36 minus 14 is negative 50. Negative 50 divided by 25 is negative 2. Now plug in that negative 2 either in the first y or the second one. I'm going to use the second one. 4x plus 3 times a negative 2 equals 2. That's a minus 6, which you move to the right. Make it plus 6. Turns into an 8. Divide. 
answer is 2. So your final answer is 2, negative 2. Quick correction, this should have been a negative 25. I'll go back to red. In this spot right here, I should have put a negative 25. That does make it a positive 2 for the answer. And when it becomes a positive 2, this would be a positive 6. And then this would change to a negative 6. That would make this a negative 4. And when you divide, you should end up with an answer of negative 1. So that means this would be negative 1 there. Yeah, and also this will be a neg this will be a positive two here. That's my fault. It just shows how one little simple oversight changes the whole problem. That's my mistake. The final answer should be a negative one and positive two.